third with humidity, and number six with flash. Hmm. Ah, didn't see you guys there. I'm Statman Dave, and I care about balls. I care about footballs, but I also care about my balls. And that's where the wonderful people at Manscaped have come to save the day. First up, the lawnmower 4.0. We need the balls looking nice, and this is the perfect tool. LED light to see what you're doing. Great technology in the background as well to make things easy. You're not going to get any nicks. You're not going to get any cuts if you're using the lawnmower 4.0. But also, once you've dealt with the problems, they've got some backup substitutes to save the day. First up, we've got the crop preserver, a ball deodorant, and also a nice little bit of the crop reviver, a little bit of ball toner to sort out all your ball problems. Wonderful people at Manscaped also sent me another little tool that I enjoy, the Weed Whacker. Used for hair, in the nose and in the ears. All this stuff, very important for 2022 as we go on our fitness goals, but also we need to protect the balls in 2022. So if you really want to be a new you in 2022, then get involved with Manscaped by checking out the link in the description below or by heading over to manscaped.com and using the promo code STATMANDAVE to get 20% off free shipping from manscaped.com. Have no regrets this year with our friends at Manscaped, but anyway, let's get this party started. Born in Belgrade, Serbia on the 28th of January 2000, Dusan Vlahovic is a full Serbian international who plays for Fiorentina. Vlahovic began his career in Serbia, playing youth football in Belgrade, even spending a small stint at Red Star before he signed for Partizan Belgrade in 2014. After turning 15 in 2015, Vlahovic signed his first professional contract and made his debut in February 2016 against OFK Beograd, becoming the youngest debutant in Partizan's history. After playing just over 500 minutes for Partizan, the centre forward signed a five-year contract with Fiorentina in June 2017 that would only become active on his 18th birthday. Because of registration issues in Serie A, Vlahovic only made his Fiorentina debut in September 2018 as an 84th-minute substitute against Inter Milan. In the opening game of the 1920 season, Vlahovic scored his first goals with Fiorentina putting two past Monza in the Italian Cup. But it was the 2020-21 season that Vlahovic announced himself, bagging 21 goals in 37 Serie A games, with 95% of them coming in the last 28 games of the season. Since then, the Serbian international hasn't slowed down, has played over 100 games for La Viola, but where does he play? Dusan Vlahovic is a centre forward, standing at six foot three. He's an imposing but very technical forward. I'd describe him as a bit of a modern target man, combining the physicality of the classic role with a technical ability like his first touch, close control, and distribution of a midfielder, and as you'd expect, a top quality finisher. Vlahovic also isn't afraid of a challenge, testing defenders with his strength in terms of their physicality, can they stand up? He did this superbly in Fiorentina's 4-3 win over AC Milan this season, completely dominating Simon Kerr on his way to scoring twice and registering an assist. In this battle, Blahovic used his size and strength to pin the defender, receiving passes to feet and bringing other forwards into play. This is a trait of the Serbian international. He loves acting as a focal point of his side's attack and has actually received more progressive passes than any other player in Serie A. Once in possession, he uses the ball well, often holding off pressure whilst his teammates arrive before passing the ball on. His favourite move, however, is to receive, shrugging off pressure and passing into space for a wide man. We saw this against Empoli, receiving on the halfway dominating the defender and then switching the play, but Vlahovic then charged into the box to put the cross away. His three through balls in Serie A this season is actually the most amongst strikers, and more than he's managed in his previous Serie A career, which is good to see the young striker is making notable improvements to his game. In the final third, Vlahovic continues to look for the balls into his feet to help his teammates progress, but in terms of shooting, he prefers to shoot from inside the box. In fact, more than 70% of his shots in the league this season have come from inside the 18 yard box and all but one of his Serie A goals from open play have come from outside the area. He's a good two-footed finisher. His left is the stronger foot but he loves finishing low with a first-time finish. But Vahovic also uses his strength and skill to get into shooting positions. Sometimes he'll control, open up his body to finish to the far corner but instead pull the finish into the near post. 
completely selling the goalkeeper and defenders. He combines his accurate finishing with great awareness, with Lahovic always watching the ball but constantly being on the move, so he can be first to react to the ball and reach it before the defenders. We saw this in Vlahovic's third goal against Spezia, Fiorentina with a goal kick. They go long and the ball is flicked on as Vlahovic outmuscles the defender and releases Bonaventura. The Italian carries and in turn finds Kalion, who cuts it back for the number nine to finish. This goal really highlights Vlahovic's aggression and awareness, first beating the defender to the ball, but also having the awareness to release Bonaventura into space. Then he constantly asks for the ball and makes a double movement to bamboozle the defender, stepping to go to the back post, but actually stepping in front and sweeping the ball home. Vlahovic isn't quite the finished article. For such a big striker, he needs to improve his aerial threat, with just four headed goals in 51 attempts in his career, although half of them have come from this season, so it looks like he's going in the right direction. But with a determined and ambitious personality, a powerful physical frame, and a well-rounded set of technical skills, Vlahovic will continue to score goals for a long time. So what's next for the Fiorentina hitman? With his contract expiring in 2023 and not set to sign a new deal, Vlahovic won't be in Florence for much longer. The striker has been linked to a whole host of top European clubs and has expressed a desire to play in the Champions League and to be coached by a top-tier manager. Bayern Munich would be a great move for the Serbian, as Lewandowski's long-term but almost like-for-like -like replacement. But the former Bayern man is pretty much in the form of his life and is unlikely to slow down. It's a similar story at Real Madrid, with Karim Benzema scoring goals at the quickest rate in his career over the past two seasons. PSG would be a good move, especially linking up with Maurizio Pochettino, who turned a similarly skilled Harry Kane into a world beater. In the Premier League, Manchester City have played better without a striker. Liverpool will be flying through the middle with Diogo Jota, and Chelsea have just signed Romelu Lukaku in the summer. But if they're going to be serious about returning to the top, Top level of English football, Arsenal need to convince the Serbian to join regardless of Champions League football. His hold up play and ability to involve teammates will be perfect for Arteta's vertical style. With Lacazette and Abemiang's contracts running out, the Gunners need a long term number nine. Still just 21 years old but averaging a goal involvement every 121 minutes during his time in Italy, Dusan Vlahovic looks to set to be one of the best strikers in Europe for the next decade. But anyway, guys, what do you think? Well, will Vlahovic be playing next season? And let me know in the comments below. Of course, I've been Statman Dave. Subscribe if you're new. But before we leave, one last shout on my favourite tool, the Lawnmower 4.0. Jump over to manscaped.com and use the code Statman Dave. Or alternatively, check out the link in the description below for all the fun. See you later. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, why not check out some more content on the Statman Dave YouTube channel?